Okay, hey y'all, it's Michelle. So I am here uh, to give my one month uh, budgeting update. <laughs> it is June 30th and I started the Dave Ramsey's envelope system um, on the 1st of June and I created uh, an envelope for each of my major, or each of my, not all of my budget categories, but for all of the budget categories that I would spend cash on. So for my bills and, um, you know, my check that I write for church and things like that, I did not withdraw that money. Um, I just withdrew the actual cash that I would possibly spend throughout the month for hair, food, restaurants, gas, and miscellaneous spending and things like that. So I'm just here to give my one month update and to let you know my overall feeling about how I did and what I plan to do to change um, going forward. So, uh, first of all, what I would say is that I would give myself overall, I would say a grade of C plus for the first month. It wasn't a complete fail. I t have a lot of great takeaways um, going into the next month because I do plan to um, continue. I actually um, have already gone to the bank um, earlier so that I can prepare for my July budget. And um, I just wanted to first, I guess, tell you some of the things that I did not like about it. And now keep in mind that I completely understand that these are first world problems, <laughs> um, but they were just minor annoyances. So the very first one was um, for me using the cash basis for these categories is uh, getting my gas. So um, I now go into the gas station to pay. And as a result, um, I never fill up anymore. So I feel like I'm probably going to the gas station a little more often um, just because I don't fill up because it's like an annoyance enough to go into the gas station the first time to pay, but I'm definitely not going to um, go back for change. <laughs> so, you know, I have a Honda Civic, so I just get 15 bucks at a time and I wait until it's almost on E and then I just get 15 bucks. So, um, the other thing is that for my car category, I d forgot about um, getting my car washed. So it's not just gas, but I need to also remember to budget for my car wash. I don't get my car washed every week, but it just depends on the weather and things like that. But I do need to at least have a few bucks set aside and I don't get like the high top of the line car wash or anything. I get like the most basic car wash I can get from Auto Bill. Um, the second minor annoyance is Panera Bread's Rapid Pickup. Now I have the Panera Bread app on my phone and I mostly go to Panera Bread for breakfast and I have it timed so perfectly that my morning routine, you know, once I get ready and I get ready to take the dog out, um, when I take her out, I will stand outside, you know, while she's doing her business and go on the app and actually make my order for Rapid Pickup, set it for ASAP, which means like five minutes later. And in the amount of time that it takes me to get her back up to the house and drive around the corner to Panera Bread, my order is like right there. Like it, sometimes they're just sitting it out there. Perfect timing. I get my, you know, I have my rewards already in the app and everything. It's perfect. But you can only do that if you use your debit, your debit or credit because you're ordering in the app. So I um, actually didn't eat out that much, but the uh, when I have gone to Panera, well, one time it was a fail because I didn't have, I had forgotten, left my, um, left my cash. So, and I always have my debit card with me because it's in my key um, ring. So I had to use my debit for that. So that was one time that was a fail, a budgeting fail. And then the other couple times that I went throughout the month, I did actually go in, make my order. I had to wait and <laughs> stand in line, first of all, to make the order and then go over to the area to sit and wait for the order to come up, which I just don't allow time for that. So that's just an annoyance. Um, what am I going to do about that? I haven't decided to be honest. The other thing that I had not budgeted for, totally forgot about, I am an avid reader. I've mentioned that several times and I um, have a Kindle. So I get most of my books um, on Amazon and I just go in, I search for what I want, click, click, and it's in my Kindle in two seconds and I'm good to go. I'm ready to start reading. So that's not anything that I can have cash out for, but I do need to have it in my budget. Totally forgot about that. And I was just sitting up one night, oh, I'm gonna order a book. And I was like clicking, uh, the button to deliver to my Kindle 
And that's when it hit me. Hey, I didn't even budget for books. So I need to budget for like one book, at least one book a month, even though I could probably budget for more. I, I need to figure that out. Have not resolved that either. I'm just telling you where the status of these categories. Um, I also forgot to include tips, like when I get my hair done and there was some other tip. Oh, when I got my nails done. Oh, speaking of nails, I didn't even have that cat that budgeted to get my pedicure. <laughs> forgot about that too. Um, but yeah, the, my, the tip for my hair. Um, yeah, forgot about that. And, uh, and I had the cash in the envelope to get this done uh, for the basic service. The other thing is, the other fail is that towards the end of the month, even though I didn't go back to the bank at all during the month, that's um, kind of misleading because number one, um, I did, well, this isn't related to going back to the bank, but towards the end of the month, I did a lot of borrowing from envelope to envelope, which just um, leads me to the lesson that I need to change for the second month, which I'll get into in a minute. But there was a lot of borrowing from envelope to envelope because I had um, gone over, I had emptied out my restaurant envelope, which I had only had 50 bucks in and then had all this other money for miscellaneous spending and whatnot. So just, you know, uh, going from envelope to envelope. And... Um, Oh, the fact that I never went back to the bank is misleading because we had gone to um, our family reunion and my sister and I split the hotel. I uh, had not budgeted for that, of course, so that just came out of the bank. I guess whatever is in the bank is technically my um, emergency fund. Um, so I had paid for the hotel room, you know, on my debit, and then she gave me cash for her portion. And then, so I just had that cash in my um, in my wallet. So... Um, even though I never went back to the bank, I've just been kind of blowing through that cash too. So yeah, that's, um, a fail, uh, because that really, well, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, let's see. Also, I had to get a new tire this month. Now, mind you, this was the first month that my car was paid off. So the first month without a car note, my tire blow, well, I know it, I didn't blow. I got a nail in my tire. So I had to get a new tire. So that was out of my emergency fund. Couldn't have budgeted for that. So, and that's what the emergency fund is for. Not that I have one actually designated, but yeah. Couldn't have anticipated that. So for me, the things that I need to consider, uh, just taking into consideration all of the things that I did for month one. One thing is that, you know, I had watched a lot of budgeting videos here on YouTube. A lot of people that are using um, systems, either the Dave Ramsey system or a system inspired by Dave Ramsey. And what I learned in this first month is that I do need to tailor what I'm doing more for me um, and for my situation as opposed to following a strict guideline. And um, that relates specifically to the envelopes. And what I, when I realized that it's when I started borrowing from envelope to envelope, well, I may not need as many envelopes. <laughs> I had quite a few. Um, so I think I'm going to consolidate some um, some of the envelopes and what I think I'm going to consolidate is my uh, food, my groceries and restaurant envelopes. Those are two separate envelopes. I think I'm just going to have an envelope for food um, because I know what I need um, in terms of groceries. And it, I just think I could, I'm, for this month at any rate, I'm going to try to just have one envelope for food and see if that works better. I don't have to dip into the grocery envelope for a restaurant money and all that. The other thing I'm going to consolidate is the miscellaneous spending and household envelopes. I feel like um, just a flat $100 should be enough for that to cover anything that I should want. Um, I don't want much <laughs> in, in the course of a month. So, you know, if I need something, you know, larger for household that I hadn't really, you know, thought about, um, where that's going to get a little bit confusing or not confusing but just something I need to consider is that I typically buy my household um, so a lot of household things on Amazon as well like my paper towel and toilet tissue and stuff like that so in a month that I know I need those because I buy them by the larger case I'll just need to budget that and just know it's not envelope money but it's just something I do need to think about to budget but in a typical month where I don't need any large ticket items a hundred dollars for the whole month is more than enough because I already have money set aside for food I already have money set aside for my hair so 
anything else is you know it's, it's not going to be that much so that's it i think i will have four envelopes this month for my car which includes gas and car washes my hair food and miscellaneous slash household so i'm going to go into this month with only four envelopes uh the great thing that i took away from really um, trying to follow this program to a T is that it made me so much more conscious of my spending overall. Like I was not reckless at all. And I found that I definitely uh, cook more or prepare foods at home a lot more. Like I would go an entire week and not eat, go out to eat at all during the week and just go out, you know, on Saturday. That may sound like, well, yeah, that's what you should be doing, but that is unheard of for me uh, because I will go out in a heartbeat, especially to just pick up something for breakfast. But for the most part, um, almost every morning I prepare my breakfast and, um, you know, take something for lunch. And, you know, I just really have been doing really good in the food category in general. And um, it only became an issue... Um, when was it an issue? I don't think it really was. You know, my restaurant money was just, you know, too low. That wasn't realistic. But overall, in terms of the food, uh, and that's because, you know, I had gone out and had, you know, just had a good time one night and just, you know, that just blew up, you know, one bill. But that was just one outing. So um, it just happened to be a high bill. Uh, so there was no excessive restaurant eating. Um, Oh, my coffee in the morning now, um, even when I did go like to Panera or pick up something for breakfast, I still minimize the bill because I still will take my coffee from home. Like I, at this point, I really just prefer my Nespresso and I'm just going to stick with that. That's what I like best. And um, I'm just not going to waste the money. Um, even on the weekend when I would typically maybe stop at McDonald's and get a coffee, you know, on the way out to run errands or something like that. Like I have my own coffee. So. I think that that is it in general. Um, the thing that it really brought to light for me, which I already knew, but it just kind of um, solidifies it to, for me, is that I enjoy experiences more so than things. So something that has come up is that um, I have this trip that is uh, an opportunity that has been presented to me to go to Kenya in March. Um, and Africa, a trip to Africa has been on my wish list uh, for a while now, you know, I hadn't decided on the country, but I just really want to go. And this opportunity has presented itself and um, it's not set in stone, but I really want to make it happen. So that will be, you know, something that I definitely have to really figure out how to budget this, you know, for this, because I already have this other trip coming up in um, October for... Um, Osaka, Mexico. So that's a lot. That's a lot. But I know I can do it. I have really buckled down and I know that I, I know I can budget and make this happen. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm determined. So and that means more to me than having, you know, a lot of extra spending money from month to month just to blow on just random stuff that I don't need anything. So I'm willing to make that sacrifice which is not really a sacrifice for me, but I'm willing to forego just the extra little things that, you know, I could just run out and get so that I can have money to put towards these experiences that I just will treasure that and these are just wish list items. So that's something that I have um, confirmed that I know about myself through this. So C plus for the first month, I'm hoping to do much better for the second month. I will keep you all posted. I'm excited. I have my money and I will um, this evening get everything organized, put it in my envelopes and go at it again. So thank you for watching and I will see you next month for my next budgeting update. Thanks for watching.